Real Stage Guard, where was it? Carlo Palanca, I have to say that you might have to Babalik muli ako. <laughs> Pero hindi na ako iyak. Uh, uh, ang bang nais ko sabihin is, uh, ano ba tawag ito? Unang-una sa lahat, nais ko magpasalamat sa aking costume master, si Ian Cartelano. Uh, tsaka sa kasama, nakalimutan ko. Pero maraming salamat. Because of them, hindi magiging successful ang isang disenyo kung walang mga tagapagbantay ng kasuotan. Maraming salamat. And then, uh, to my dear friend, Ed Lapson. Just ko na, uh, hindi ko mahindihan, pero maraming salamat sa tiwala. And then, of course, um, sa mga actors. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Kasi kung hindi nila dinala yung costume at pinigil ng mustisya, hindi maging effective siya. Kundi installation art lang siya. So, performance art yung costume. And then, next is, um, nais kong pasalamat natin si Mom Barbie. Because of her, hindi magiging maganda yung costume. Actually, kung pangit ang ilaw, pangit ang lahat. Oo, ah, uh, what else? Hindi, totoo yun. Kasi siya yung nagbe-blend eh. Totoo naman yung sasabi ko. And then next, and then uh, what else? Ah, uh, yun. And then para ito din sa mga estudyante ko sa UP na maging inspirasyon na pagdubihan nila. And then, maraming salamat gawad buhay. May panibago na naman akong dekorasyon sa bahay. At award! Thank you! Aguilon for Long Sandbox Collector. Gino Gonzalez, ang huling Albimbo for Outstate Company. My good friend, Ed Laxon, Himala, isang musical for Nine Works Theatrical and Sandbox Collector. My good friend, Joey Mendoza, Silent Sky Repertory Philippines. And last but not the least, Ben Padero, Night Mother for Peta. And the 2019 Gawad Buhay for Outstanding Set Design goes to Ed Lakson Jr. <laughs> the set design and they know how many seats will be left with that type of set but it was a risk it was a leap of faith and thank you for for saying yes to the project i would like to thank my set supplier sinagars foundation mother nature for the tree um <laughs> thank you for, it's a dead sampano tree so no harm was done um and the actors who inhibit the negative spaces because uh, as mio said the set would receive it and it's the actors who will fill it up. And of course, Barbie, for again, with such restraint, was able to show the different time of day and the emotional, emotion needed per scene. So, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. In Gawad Buhay for outstanding translation or adaptation are... Uh, Ian Lumongo, Night Mother. Uh, Keta. Rodi Vera. Manila Notes, Tanghalang, for Tanghalang Filipino. And the 2019 Gawad Buhay for Outstanding Translation or Adaptation goes to... <coughs> for Night Mother, Peta. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, for his work as writer of nine works theatricals, nine works theatricals, eto na musical na po. Ang may kasalanan kung bakit naging theater actor ang anak ko, Robbie Gevan. Call John John. 
and which brings me to John John Martin. Woo! Woo! Dear Church, I share this with you. Thank you, John, for wow, for your patience and for your creativity. Thank you. And lastly, Danny Jim and Boboy of Apo Hiking for entrusting your music to us. And uh, I, I hope you're really proud. And for everyone else here, uh, I really hope that uh, musical theater is more alive from now on, especially original work. Will I, people ask me, will I write another one? Possible. Thank you. I just want to say National Artist Um Mrs. Felicitas Laya Predaich was my first ballet teacher, and uh, she brought the Royal Academy of Dancing syllabus to the Philippines. And she was, of course, a pioneer. And her most famous role was that of Giselle, that was so beautifully performed by uh, ballet Manila principal dancers, Joan Sia and El Pinto um, When she was artistic director of Dance Theater Philippines, and I was 15 years old, and I decided that I wanted to become a ballerina when I got older. Um, my parents were against it, and Mrs. Shredaj wrote my dad a letter. Because my, my dad wanted me to become an accountant. <laughs> and uh, so she wrote my dad a letter saying, Cesar, the Philippines has so many accountants, <laughs> but not that many ballerinas. Let your daughter pursue her dream. And I, she really, um, I'm here on stage um, because of Mrs. Rodaj. And I owe her my own I am very happy to be here and participate in this very special and long overdue tribute to my friend Tita. When Wadi told me that they were looking for nominees and that uh, she had been nominated by Lisa, I said, but she's my nominee too. Because um, she, has many, she has had many roles in life, but for me, I treasure her most as a teacher. She has produced incredible, beautifully trained dancers like Lisa and so many others who have gone on abroad or stayed and performed and taught their own next generation of dancers. So this is a song to teachers who are often unsung heroes. So to all the teachers out there, he leads you on. And uh, I think we'd like to call on stage um, her daughter, um, Vinky Radaj Helik, to accept the award. Manifest that theater, music, and the performing arts are indeed very much alive and prolific in our country today. <laughs> Needless to say, the Filipino artist is indeed of world class caliber. So, here is to uh, more creative growth and fruitful, exciting collaboration among the arts in our country. Mabuhay ang artistang Pilipino at maraming maraming salamat po muli mula sa aking ina. Uh, ako nga po pala si Stephen Vinyas. Thank you, thank you. Ako naman po ay si Dina Aquino. So, ako po si Stephen Vinyas. Ako si Dina Aquino. Thank you. 
Simula po akong lumikha ng sayaw noong uh, 2012 dahil po sa inspirasyon ng aking guro na nandito po ngayon si uh, Professor Dexter Santos. <laughs> And scene in a musical. Why is choreography important? Ang choreography sa isang musical ay hindi lang dancing, dancing. It needed to aid the plot and character development and enhance the spirit of the show. It can be a simple walk. A blink, crossing across the stage, ganun ka simple. <laughs> should always remember this. You should know the script, music, and characters. Communicate with the director. Keep things simple. Be aware of the space. Be imaginative. And be able to imagine the end product through the process of creating and experiencing. And curtain. So, um, the nominees for the 2019 Gawad Buhay for Outstanding Choreography are PJ Rebolida, Eto Nang Musical Mato, Nine Words Tiatinos, Dexter Santos, Malik Elvino, Kulang Estiano Kapo, and the 2019 Gawad Buhay for Outstanding Choreography goes to. Ah, 
Unang-una, gusto kong pasalamatan si Sir Dex. Grabe. Ngayon lang ako na-challenge sa buhay ko ng parang kong kinoryo. Parang kinoryo mo yung buhay ko. Uh, si Ms. Menchu and uh, Michael Williams of uh, Full House Theater. Resorts World. Team Resorts World. Nung sinabi sa akin, gagawin ang, ang huling LB po, actually, dream ko talaga, dream project ko yung Eraser Hands. Yeah, so, I, I, I did this for, ano talaga? Ay, hindi nila alam. I did this for Ellie, for Raymond, Buddy, and Marcus. Maraming salamat. At uh, dumating din ako dun sa point na nung brown out, uh, nakikinig lang ako ng eraser heads. Tapos, kinutugtog ko siya sa bulok-bulok kong nylon na gitara na galing simbahan. So, ayun. So, binigyan nila ako ng chance na mag, mag, gumawa ng music para sa uh, ang huling El Bimbo na problema ako nun. Salamat, maraming salamat kay JC Magsalin of MPO. Dahil no right, no right po ako, hindi po ako nagbabasa at nagsusulat ng nota. Ayun, ah, hindi po ako marunong magsusulat. So, tinanscribe na lahat ngayon para matugtog ng MPO, the huling LB band. Uh, maraming salamat sa team ng LB po. Ang dami-dami nyo lahat ng, ayan, Dindong, Sir Floyd, lahat kayo. And the cast. Maraming salamat sa hard work. In behalf of the cast. Thank you, Dawad. <laughs> Sir, as resident director, what's it like directing for Gantimbala? Uh, we have a different setup in Gantimbala. Uh, we do plays, pakulit-ulit every year, kasi we cater to students. So, in my case, I've been directing Ibong Adarna for 22 consecutive years. Yeah. How do you keep that exciting and fresh? Well, direct. for me, directing is always exciting, no matter how long you've been doing it. Well, it's always a thrill. Ngayon naman, uh, teacher, Missy, <laughs> nalilito po ako. Minsan tinatawag ko siyang Mara Missy Missy. <laughs> Mga Missy, Mara Mara. I was it naman uh, directing students as school. Ah, oh, they're great. They're absolutely great. And they all aspire to be like the professionals here in this room. In fact, um, you know, being a director in a, in a school in a school setting, it's, it's pretty much the same, I guess. You have, to be, you have to be in charge of the vision. You have to be in charge of the cohesion. You have to be in charge of the execution. Make sure everything's together. You also have to be in charge of being the guidance counselor. Yes, okay. So, wala lang pinagkaba. And in fact, I'm so, so, so proud as a teacher because two of my former students are now Gawad Buhay nominees. Uh, maybe, and one of them is for, Mamiana si Best Actress, but sir, one of them, one of my students is Best Director nominee. So, let's name them. For Manila Notes, Oz Oriza Hirata, Tanghalang Pilipino. Melvin Lee for Night Mother Tepa. Andre Pabintuan, Lunch, San Bas Collective. Chris Villongo, Adal's House Party, Red Turning Chair. And Joy Virata, Silent Sky Repertory Philippines. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, Gawad Buhay Awards 2018. Outstanding stage direction for a play for a doll's house part two is Chris Villanca!
privilege to be working with you, and thank you for breathing into life this wonderful, wonderful piece of work. So thank you to the as well. And uh, am I missing? Oh, I did. See the squat. Sputnik. That's what it means. Um, and of course, uh, thank you to John Natalia, uh, my uh, regard to the angel. Thank you to Erica. I wouldn't have been able to move without you, Erica and Stasho, thank you so much. And of course to our PM, Mariko, Yasuda, and Gabby, and Clarice, and everybody else involved in this wonderful production. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Audi asked me to say something about generations and direction. And well, we put our heads together and came up with something. However, because of the memory of my generation, I had to write it down. <laughs> And I wrote down some stuff too, just to not make him look bad. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is yours. It's the bigger font. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. <laughs> I've been working as a director since the late 80s, and I'm sure, like myself, many directors will admit that our work has always been a combination of our voice and the voices of the directors who have come before us. Our mentors, whether they know it or not, I consider myself lucky to have been influenced, nay, to have stood on the shoulders of Filipino directors like Zenaida Mador, Lamberto Abeliana, Jonas Sebastian, Freddy Santos, and I've learned so much from the productions of Ben Cervantes, Anton Juan, Tony Mabesa, Tony Espejo, Father Reuter, as well as the great Rolando Dino. I've also learned much from my peer directors and friends, Bart Gingona, Odi Hemora, Dennis Marasigan, and Menchu Lamchenko Yulo. A lot of wonderful names. That's all well and good. But the reality is these names and productions will one day all be forgotten. That is the nature of the theater experience. It's ephemeral. <laughs> How many of the upcoming generations of theater practitioners could have seen a Broadway-type production directed by the exacting Zenaida Amador. How many of the young ones could have witnessed the breathtaking classical productions of Tinio's Teatro Filipino in its heyday in the 80s? Or the productions of Jonas Sebastian, for that matter? Just a few weeks ago, I was in conversation with a professional actor who had no idea who Freddy Santos was. Freddy, a stalwart theater actor, director, and writer, when we were all starting out. Of course, this only served to underline the reality we face. Names will be forgotten, and maybe that's okay, as long as the legacies aren't forgotten. Because it is the influence and the work of our predecessors that have shaped us. Names may and will fade as names do, but their lessons live. And by standing on those shoulders, we, were able to take in wider vistas. By standing on those shoulders, we were able to raise the bar. And now, it's our turn. Our generation's turn to make sure the upcoming generation of directors stand on our shoulders if they are to raise the bar even higher than our generation did. They need to learn from our mistakes, make their own new mistakes, and not waste time reinventing the wheel. That's already been invented. It's their job now to roll into places it couldn't go before. It's your turn now, son. Roll with it. And we will then, especially in an age of false information and selective amnesia, the challenge that I think my generation, and we're all here tonight, there are so many of my generation who are just so profoundly doing fantastic work all around. It is our, gener our generation's duty to preserve the legacy of the people before us, contribute and pass it on to the next generation of actors and directors after us, rolling that wheel on and on, not only to further the journey of Philippine theater, but as a shining example of how far we Filipinos can go if we put our hearts and minds to it. Yeah. On that note, the people who have been keeping the wheel rolling, the nominees for Outstanding Stage Direction for a Musical are Ed Lamson Himala, Isang Musica. Nine Works Theatrical Sandbox Collective. Robbie Guevara, ito na po, musical na po. Nine Works Theatricals. And the winner is... Yeah. Ed Lockson Jr. That's not a situation for a musical for
Nagsulad na po ako. Teka po. Okay. Uh, Vince, thank you. We were just drinking in the lobby of Parma Center Spotlight and you offered it to me. I thought you were joking. But you were, uh, you were giving a real offer and we met Tuesday and we're now here. Thank you for the trust for allowing a new generation to work on this masterpiece. Thank you for that. Uh, without that offer, we will not all be here, the cast of Humana. Um, sorry. To Jen and to Perky, yung first na kasama natin. We lack budget, we just wanted to do a new version of Himala. We have no idea how to do it, we just know we will do it. We had an audition, wala kaming, wala kaming producers. But we wanted the show to happen. Then came Nine Works and Sandbox. Thank you, Paul. Again, I messaged, I, I made a joke on Messenger to Tof. Kau na lang mag produce, and he said yes. So, again, jokes work, guys. Jokes work. <laughs> Joke nyo na lahat ng friends nyo. <laughs> to Anna and Sandy for, um, for that sit-down meeting. To Sam, to John, to the whole Nine Works Sandbox team, thank you for the trust. To my production team, to Pat, Julio, Rachel, Gabe, Ian, to our designers, J.M., Barbie, Carlo, and uh, to my actors for the trust. Um, we went through a lot to get through this point and I really appreciate uh, trusting a young director like me <laughs> who doesn't even know anything about musicals. Uh, thank you for that. And I would like to thank the entire theater community. I have worked with almost all of the people here and I work with your stage managers as a director, as a designer and I would like to thank you all for helping me get to where I am today. So, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Outstanding female featured performance in a play are Kaisa Borromeo, Silent Sky, Woo! Repertory <laughs> Sheila Francisco, Manila Notes, Tanghalang Media. And the 2019 Gawad Buhay for Outstanding Female Featured Performance goes to
Lincoln didn't think I was good enough. <laughs> Sandbox 
Lawrence Matunas, a comedy of tenors from Puerto Rico. Gab Santos, Lawrence, Sandbox Collab. And Carlito Simon Reina, a doll's house party. And the 2019 Gawa Buhai Outstanding Male Lead Performance in a Play goes to.
You share your vulnerability. Napakahirap po na maglaslas sa harap ng maraming tao para lang magkwento ng katotohanan. So maraming salamat, Pits, sa pagtaya mo. Ricky Lee, dekada po ng iba't ibang artista ang in-inspire nyo sa inyong pagsulat. Ed Luxon. Late na po eh. Magkita na lang tayo sa likod. Marami akong gustong sabihin. Maraming salamat. Maro, Tala, Luna, inspirasyon kayong lahat. Lainos, maraming maraming salamat. Repertory Food. Santino Martin, Himala, isang musika. Nightworks Theatrical Sandbox Collective. And since the theme tonight is the generations, this is the past, the present, and the featured performance. Never mind. Okay. Thank the, you. <laughs> Just announce the winner. And the 2019 Gawa Buhai for Outstanding Male Featured Performance in a Musical goes to... Congratulations, John Abelia! Javier, 
Gian Magdangal, ang huling Elbimbo Full House Theater Club. In the 2019 Gawal Buhay for Outstanding Mary Lee Performance in a Musical Goes to Jojo Bima! Jeff Flores, I owe you a thousand pesos. But that's all right, because my dad owes me five. Um, I, wow. Um, I, I, I'm not often speechless, but thank you. Thank you to Gawa for this. Um, thank you to Santi and Robbie uh, for taking a chance on someone who's never had any theater experience, couldn't dance, couldn't show up on time. <laughs> uh, thanks to my Nightworks family, my App family. Thank you so much to Sab Jose for forcing me to audition for being the best leading lady a guy could ask for. Night Mother Peta. Manila Notes, Tanghalang, Pilipino. And for the outstanding play original or translation adaptation, and the winner is. Drum roll. Sandbox Collective and Silent Sky Repertory Philippines. And the winner is Adults House Part Two Red Turning Theater. Balsamo at ang puso ng himala ang aming pinakamamahal na musical director, lyricist, and composer na si Vincent Vincent. Ay kinilala... Ay kinilala ninyo ang mga alagad ng sining, ang media, ang mga kurado, ang mga haligi ng industriya. Nakakakilig po na mabilang himala sa inyong mga hanay. Alam nyo po, hindi naging madali ang pagsasabuhay ng tulang ito. Maraming pagsubok ang aming pinagdaanan mga tensyon, pagod, puyat, sakit, at yung kababa na susunod ka sa yapak ng mga naong na sa iyo. Maraming beses kaming uh, inanaan ng loob, pero kailan may hindi kami sinuko. Ang pamilya ang nakikita ninyo ngayon sa harapan ninyo at doon sa likod ay pawang mga mandirigma na nakipaglaban, nakipagsapalaran, nagtulong-tulungan, nagmahalan upang mabigyan ng hustisya ang obra ni na Vince at Ricky. Sa mga direktor, designer, producer, artista, crew na nauna sa amin, mula sa pelikulang pinagbidaan ni Nora Honor, hanggang sa mga dula na pinalabas noong pang 2003, at yung mga sumusunod. Na sa mga balikat nila, kami tumayo, sumiklam at naging instrumento para may pamalas ang mensahe ng Himala. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Sa cast na kasama namin, uh, Lado at dun sa likod, sa panguna ni Aisel, Bituin, Naomi. Ang huling El Bimbo, from the house here. And the 2019 Gawad Boy Outstanding Musical Original Translation. <laughs> Are you guys ready? You don't need my lap, that's not my lap. <laughs> 